Hey everyone, it's Wilmer from the Game Academy. Today let's talk materials. Lots and lots of materials. <laughs> Unity has released a new measured materials library in the Asset Store. It comes at a great price, absolutely free. It's a great way to get your 3D models looking super realistic. With Unity making inroads in the automotive industry, it seems to be a natural fit for high-end visualization. Check out their blog entry from the link in the resources for more details. The package itself is filled with several families of materials. You can see them right here. We have 300 materials all packaged up and ready to go. We have fabrics and leather and wood, metal, and all sorts of shiny car paint. With all of them in one scene, you can pick and choose like browsing paint chips at the local hardware store. They all look pretty good and you can tell a lot of effort went into making these. They spent some time measuring real world materials to reproduce them inside of Unity, hence the measured materials library. And the great part is all of the shaders used are created with shader graph. If you've gone through our shader graph videos, then you should find them fairly self-explanatory. The graphs themselves aren't terribly complex, but what makes them work is that they are composed of lots of detailed layers and they have really high quality scan textures. Some of the metals have nice anisotropic highlights like you would find on brushed stainless steel or aluminum. Others have just the right amount of dirt or scratches applied. All these look like they're constructed with the stack lit master node, which has lots of input layers. The stack lit master node is something specific to the high definition render pipeline. So this material library won't work for mobile or VR, but any application that runs on desktop or console should be able to use it. Anyway, the asset comes with two scenes, the all materials scene that lays out all 300 materials side by side so you can compare them, and the individual material scene, which helps you get a close up look at each one. Let's examine the carbon fiber material, for example, one of my favorites from this library. It has all these layers and details in the surface, you have this top clear coat that reflects the environment. And then you have this checkered understructure like you would find in a real carbon fiber rod or similar object. And as a total aside, did you know that you can buy a $480 carbon fiber toilet seat? Strange but true. I mean, that's the toilet seat you probably take with you to the apocalypse. Anyway, the car paint materials are quite nice as well. If you ever tried to render car paint, you'll understand that it really is quite a complex material. There's a base coat, some small metallic flakes inside, and a clear coat on top of that. It's not just a glossy plastic material. It has lots of layers, and you need to take those into account to make it look right. And all these shaders and materials already do that for you. So if you want to do some high-end visualization in the HDRP, this new measured material library should get you off to a great start. Even if you can't find an exact match for the material that you're trying to recreate, use one that's sort of close as a jumping off point and then just tweak it from there. You'll find that it's a terrific time saver from trying to create a new material from scratch each time. I recommend just importing this asset into a separate project. When you feel like you need to go shopping for car paint or wood or metal or fabric, just go to your material project and export what you need. The asset is a whopping 1.5 gigabytes, so you wanna avoid importing the whole thing if you can. Just pick a few materials and export those. Now at the time of this recording, the library is a little tricky to install. There are some instructions on the asset store page. Just follow those exactly and you should be okay. We need to start with an HDRP project using Unity 2018.3 or above. Let's try the official 2018.3.4. That's the non-beta release. I'll create a fresh new project using the high definition render pipeline template. Once you've got that loaded, head over to the Asset Store and search for Unity Measured Materials Library. Import that. It's large, so you might want to kick it off now and just keep watching the video or just do something else. It takes some time to download and more time to import. Once that's all done, there should be a folder named Measured Materials Library in your project. If you open up the Sample Scene subfolder and load the All Materials Scene, you'll see that all the materials and shaders are broken. As most of you know, magenta means epic fail as far as shaders go in Unity. We hope this isn't the case for future releases, but with this initial release of the library, you'll need to do a few steps to get the shaders compiling properly again. 
Let's just load up the individual material scenes so we can focus on just one shader at the moment. Here's a simple scene with three-point lighting set up that they've provided for us. It has a nice backdrop with an HDRI environment and a reflection probe. Now we can't see those until we fix the material, so let's do that. Step one, in the package manager, make sure that the high definition render pipeline is using version 4.9 or higher. So I will update my package to version 4.9. Again, this takes some time, so come back when it's finished. Step two, go to the edit project settings, double click the HD render pipeline asset just to inspect it. Make sure that the diffusion profile settings is set up properly. Mine came in already filled out, but it should be this file here. So just make sure that is indeed set up in this field for diffusion profile settings. And finally, step three, the broken shader in my scene is a shader graph called car paint. What I need to do is simply re-import the shader graph asset into the project, find the car paint shader graph, then just right click and re-import. After a little bit of re-importing and recompiling, you'll see our sphere turn this nice amber shade of car paint. And now we can see this nice clear coat on the outside, metallic flakes on the inside, and the base color underneath. If you go back to the all material scene, you'll see that our car paint spheres are all fixed, and you can see those subtle variations in colors and materials. Then you just have to go into the shader graph directory and just repeat that re-import process for all the different shader graphs. Just be careful, you don't want to re-import anything more than you need to. It can take a lot longer than necessary. And in a couple of my early tests, when I hit re-import all, I did manage to crash Unity. So just select what shader graphs you want to re-import, re-import those, and eventually everything should get working again. And you should get a beautiful collection of materials for use with your high-end graphics. All right, well, that's all we have time for in this episode. Don't forget to support the channel and hit subscribe if you like this video. Also, remember to check out the Game Academy School website for premium tutorials and the blog for game dev tips and tricks. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.